hello dear friends welcome to my channels today's discussion is fluid mechanics constitutive equations for newtonian flow so the relations between the stress and deformation in a continuum is called constitutive equation okay relation between the stress and deformation in a continuum is called constitutive equation an equation that linearly relates the stress to the rate of strain in fluid medium is examined in this section in a fluid at rest there are only normal components of stress on a surface and stress do not does not depend on the orientation of the surface in other words the stress tensor is isotropic or spherically symmetric an isotropic tensor is defined as one whose components do not change under a rotation of the coordinate system. Del is equal to 1000101001. Any isotropic second order tensor must be proportional to del. And the stress is static fluid is isotropic. It must be tau ij is equal to minus p del ij and where p is the thermodynamics pressure related to rho and t t for temperature and a negative sign is introduced because the normal component of tau are regarded as positive if they indicate tension rather than comparison a moving fluid develops additional components of stress due to viscosity the diagonal terms of tau now become unequal and shear stress developed for a moving fluid we can split the stress into a part minus p del ij that would exist if it were at rest and a part sigma ij due to the fluid motion alone tau ij equal to minus p del ij plus sigma ij Sigma ij is called stress tensor is related to the velocity gradient del ui divided by del xj and the velocity gradient tensor can be decomposed into symmetric tensor and anti-symmetric tensor and del ui divided by del xj equals to half into del ui del xj del uj divided by del xi so it is it is symmetric and it is skew symmetric means anti-symmetric tensors so eij equal to can be written this way and the sigma ij can be written kij mn e mn and kij mn is total 81 components and kij mn can be written lambda del ij del mn and mu del im del jn and del is equal to im del jm so in here mu is equal to nu so sigma ij equal to lambda del ij del mn plus 2 mu del im del jn e mn so friends sigma ij equal to we get lambda e mn del ij plus 2 mu e ij and where e mm is equal to gradient of u so i can write the tau ij equal to minus p del ij plus sigma ij and and putting the value of sigma ij in here so i get this value and and p is equal to del ij equals to 3 okay summation of del ij is equal to 3 so i can write p is equal to tau ij divided by 3 and this is the 2 by 3 mu plus lambda and e mn or e ij can be written as del u means graduate this is the constitutive equations of the fluids thanks for watching i hope it is very i hope it is clear for everyone this is very very important for finding out navier stokes equations